Hello friends, it's Angela the Traveling Crafter. Welcome everybody for all of you returning and for those who are new subscribers, welcome. I enjoy doing all kinds of art projects including junk journaling and thrifting for vintage treasures. And today specifically I want to give a shout out to Kim's Inspired Life, GED Art Creations, and Enamor Amy. Thank you for your comments and for subscribing to the channel. You're awesome. So here's what I thought we would do. Yesterday, which was really today, uh, we did the magnets. And I still had my mess out. So I decided we're going to do something with all of our messiness before we move on to another project. So that's how they all turned out. Then I have a few I need to finish. Like these. Because I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet. So those still need to be decorated. I should probably put those up here. And we are going to work on a project that isn't difficult. Anyone can do it. And I think it's going to be maybe like a 15 minute ephemera type of thing. So what we're going to do, what happened is I got on this kick uh, over the weekend or maybe that was last weekend, the weekend, I don't know. It was on a weekend, and I decided to get out my, I had a bunch of napkins, these are what's left of them, that were already, I'd already peeled them apart and such. And so I started playing, these are uh, library cards, or library pockets. And so I just started playing with them with the, napkins. And this is how they turned out. And so I thought, well, I'm just going to hop on so people can see how easy it is to transform this and make it into a pocket that is seamless, if you know what I mean. So for example, I mean, all of this looks like one design, but then you put this in there and, you know, you see what I'm saying? So yeah, so we're going to do that. That's one thing we're going to do. And then I decided, oh, I will do it on some why not try it on some envelopes? So here's what I did. I did this one where I just kind of scrappied it up so I could actually use this and put the address there. We did this one, we being me, and that one has the see-through piece. And then I did this one as well. And that is the back of that. And just use, I just use scraps. So, I mean, this is the same technique as we're going to use on these pockets. So I'll show you. If we get to the, I don't know if we'll get to the envelopes or not, but we'll try. Then I decided, well, I've got all this stuff out. Oh, here's another one that was done with napkin. So then I took a couple of envelopes that I had. And these are um, one of my new designs. I don't know if I have this out on Etsy or Kofi or coffee yet or not. Kofi. But I just ran these right through my printer by the size. Now you can see they still have the edge on them because I cannot get my printer to not print with a border. I've tried everything, so I don't know. So that I printed those two. And then I did the same thing with these library pockets. So if you don't have napkins and you have a printer, you can print that. I couldn't have done this again if I tried because I, I had a lot of mess ups. This was one of them, but I love how it turned out. <laughs> There's that. This was another. This is my first mess up, and I tried to repeat it, and I couldn't. But I love that. These. So you could always run, you know, whatever digital you have through other, or through. You can print on other things besides just a regular piece of paper. And there's some examples and it was easy and it was fast. And now I have them ready for whatever project or if I wanna use them in my um, giveaways, I think I'm gonna be selling a bunch of these on my live sale bundles. But the other thing is Thursday. So in last week's live sale, I sold two bundles so that whomever was a recipient could follow along in this video. And I made two more bundles and I included some of the um, envelopes as well that will be on the drop sale this coming Thursday at 10 a.m. Central Time. 
So we'll just put those out so we can see see how pretty they are. So here we go. Oh, for the love of Pete, I forgot to grab the index or the things. Hold on. goodness okay so these aren't the same these are white and these are the ones that are sticky on the back but they'll work just the same I can't believe I didn't get that so all I'm going to do is get my trusty glue stick out and I couldn't believe that this worked as well as it did but it did and I'm just going to show you a couple of them because they're really easy you will get really bored really fast if I show you how to do too many of them okay so the one thing to remember Let's see. Yeah, let me show you. The one thing to remember on this is when you're gluing with your glue stick, what I do is kind of go at an angle like this. So it's, what is underneath there? Something's underneath here. Hang on. I don't know what that, oh, it was from my gesso or whatever from me earlier. Okay, so then what I do is just make sure it's it's not, see how that one got a little bit too close? I just pull that up. I'll just stick it on there. And then I do the same. So I'm just at that line. And then I'm gluing it, or gluing that on real well. Now this one's going to be a little bit cumbersome because it's a whole page. Not a half a page, but we'll work with it. So all you're get, going to do is glue it. The most important thing is to remember not to get it over that seam. Because that's going to be important in a minute. And then we're just going to slap this down wherever we want it. And I did, I did those and probably, I mean, it did not take me long. All right, now I probably should be waiting to do this. Oh, I, this is the, I can't find my other, I've been losing all kinds of things lately. This is not the ideal water brush, but we're going to go for it. And then I'm just going to go around it. Ideally, I should be waiting until this is completely, the glue is completely dry because it may rip a sh smidge. Oops, I just see this Did you see what I just did? I went over the glue part. So what I'm gonna do, this is one of my Timu items. I have not even used it, so we'll see. When I did these before, I just used my great big one, you know, my trusty one. I, don't, I could just pull this away just like this, but it's not completely dry, so I don't want to get crazy with it. Let's see. We'll try it on this one. Yeah, it's coming up. But I think I might have messed this up just a little bit where I got the... Okay, come on. Let's put you aside. See? Okay. So I'm going to pull this off gently. Okay, then <laughs> I'm going to throw this piece away. And that was my fault because I got, I got water with my water pen. But I'm just going to grab a little piece of this right here. That's kind of wet too. And I'm going to put that here. Now, what I need to show you is how to do this. However, I'm afraid that maybe not. So all I'm doing is I'm sticking that in there. This is probably all going to come apart because it's too wet. 
and I'm just going like this. And eventually it will all pop apart, but I messed it up. We'll try another one. My bad. I mean, it's still going to be fine, but it's not cohesive. Looks kind of crappy right there, but see, I can fix it later. Well, that's not going in one of my gift packs, that's for sure. Okay, let's try another one. Hopefully this one will turn out better. Here I did all of those like lickety split. And then the first time I do one on camera, buzzkill. Let's see, should we do this one? I haven't done one like this. Okay, let's try this again. Just try to go away from that pocket. Hang on. I don't know why I'm getting a, one of these wipes out. They're not even wet. And I have, this is a freezer paper that I've got laying down here. We used it when we did the magnets. And I'm just going to, I want the, that flower to be on. Oh, see that one, you can see through much better too. So I just get it down on there. I make sure it's really, now before I go using my, Water pen, let's just do this the way it's supposed to be done. Okay, I just made a line through it. Lightly with my finger. And then look, see it's already open. So that is done. Choo -choo, got the pocket. Now, I wonder how this would work with it just dry. Eh. Well, because it's so new, it works pretty well. Bet I have a little overlap there. It's a very shop. I hope you guys are all doing well today. It's Monday when I'm filming this, but... I fil filmed my... Uh-oh. I filmed my... Uh uh, outro to this week's vlog and then my intro to next week's vlog all <laughs> in the same sitting. So yeah, and two videos so far. So there's that. But I got a lot to do. I got everything set up for the drop sale that I have to record. That takes a little more effort. I need to set up both of my cameras and ugh, darn it all right so that works okay but I don't know I if I if you have a water a paintbrush with some water on it that might just be easier because this is super 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 sharp and that's why it works so well I do have two little owies but that's okay actually three Yeah, all my other ones, none of them have it. <laughs> all right, so you get it. You get it, you get it. All right, there we go. And there's our pocket. All right, I'm going to zoom you out now. Now, you get the gist of it. And you can learn by my mistake on those. But that one is hor It's soaking wet, too. I really messed that up. Oh, but they're great. So, yeah, it, on Thursday's uh, drop sale, I've got two kits that this one I started to do, and apparently I got sidetracked and stopped. But all I did is I put this down on directly on to the envelope. Then I flipped it over, and this is where I left off, apparently. And I just went like this.
flipped it up. I'm going to use the gel pen or the water brush. It looks like I didn't get that quite even, so we'll pull that apart. Hmm. I don't know about this. Sometimes when you put it on the reverse like this, it helps you keep everything, in, you know, so it doesn't peel like that one that I did much, as much. And I'm just kind of scraping on that a little bit. Okay, let's get that off. Ooh, look at that. Just came right off. Now, I don't know, did I plan on doing the back of it? I don't know if I did when I did this because I don't know if I'm going to have enough, but I suppose we can try. Hmm, maybe, do I have more of this? No, I do not. Making sure I got enough water on my pen. So I think I would have enough for that, sort of-ish. Uh, let's see if we go this way. That would work, but I'm not getting... I wanted to get the envelope part. Well, here. Let's just tear this apart right here. Okay, let's get this off of here. Oh, what did I get on my finger? Okay. And there we have it. Now we need to get the, oh, I have two, two little spots there. Well, oops, I want to make sure I don't, <laughs> I think I did, I think I got my, I think I ripped the acetate with my very sharp new Timu. Exacto. Am I? I got my hands are sticky. And I, when I did this before on some of those, I like kind of liked how it was. There was a little fraying around that part. So okay, let's just not. Let's just try to use my finger instead of the exacto. Let's see. And I'm taking my brush and bringing it in instead of out so that it, at least I can attempt to only get around there and not rip what's around what's on the paper part of it. I'm only getting around the acetate. There you go. Is amazing. Now, we have of course, you know, a couple little places here on the top, but it's not going to really matter because we're going to try our best. There we go. Cute. To do this whole thing because I don't want I mean, if I'm going to use this in a journal, I don't want that to be sticky. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to go like this. So, well, no. We're going to go like this and put that on. And then we're just going to take this and we're just going to kind of piece it 
together. <laughs> Let's see how that goes. Now with this, how did I do that? I don't even remember. I just wanted to make sure I didn't get below that line. And make sure it's really nice and sticky. And I suppose you could wait until it, you know, it's complete, everything is completely dry too before you go cutting. That's probably the better way to do it, but you know, I didn't. Because we'd be sitting here for a while. Oh gosh, I did. It's got a ripple. A ripple and a rip. Yeah, so be careful when you do this. Like, be gentle. Now I'm just going to see here. How I can... The glue's sticking to my fingers. Hang on. It kind of looks like it's together, sort of-ish. No. <sighs> it's sticking to my gluey fingers. Now, the other thing that you could do if you wanted to do these, uh, is you could use Mod Podge. I don't really like the look of um, Mod Podge on my envelopes. I don't know why. I just... And I do use um, matte Mod Podge, but I don't know. Now, I'm going to have to wait until this is completely dry to kind of get those frayed ed edges and doctor it up a little bit, but it's fine for right now. I got one little spot there. And I'm just going to stick. Whoops. There you go. Problemo solved. All right, let's just turn it over. This way again. Look at all that on my fingers. My goodness. All right. These are so fun to do. And like I said, I just did these. It must have been two weeks ago that I did these. Because we were watching basketball. Um... But it's an easy one to do just sitting and watching, you know, your favorite shows. I've been watching, and Demi, Demi said, oh, Mom, I watched this. She goes, there's a new season. I had no idea. I've been watching Love is Blind. I know. It's like reality TV, but I love it sometimes. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to wait till that's completely dry to touch up those edges. But I want to... Go ahead and just, I'm following this line. This is not wet. Hang on, I gotta get closer. There we go. There we go. I might have gone too light over it last time. And then just slice it and pull that up. And a lot of times you can just go like this, yeah, with your fingers, and it comes right up. Now, if you were really particular and you wanted, you could add, you know, some more down in the bottom of this. But I have this, so I don't want to do that. So there you have it. And that, my friends, is all there is to it. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. 
So there you go. That's your 15 minute ephemera. And we'll just pretend like this one never happened. <laughs> it's still wet. But we've got lots and lots of pockets and envelopes. And by the way, the kits that I have for you guys uh, include all of the napkins. So see, you're getting all the napkins and all of the goodness all in one. So I hope to see you back next time. And until then, my friends, remember to take time to just be. Cheers.